Guess she was in her room. Maybe Sayaka's in her room. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Sayaka! No answer. I guess I'll have to keep looking. Where did I miss? Check there. I swear to god, if she's actually in one of those two goddamn uh, classrooms, I'm gonna be pissed. <sighs> no, not in here. If not in here, then... Music changed. Aha! I found her in one corner of an empty classroom. She was sitting in a chair, hands on her knees, staring absently at the floor. She looked like maybe she was upset or angry or... No, she didn't have any expression at all. There's nothing on her face that you could call emotion. It was as if her original mask had been stripped away. Sayaka, are you okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Actually, no. How could I possibly be fine? What did we do to end up like this? Why are they doing such terrible things to us? I want out. Let me out of here right now! Sayaka, calm down. As she thrashed around, I grabbed her by the shoulders. Huh? I understand. I know how you feel right now when I think what might have happened to my family. But now more than ever, we have to stay calm. This is exactly what they want. They want us to lose our composure and stop thinking rationally. Think about it. Those videos have to be fake because if those things really had happened... People out there would be in an uproar. Our families, the police, everyone. Right? So let's just calm down, okay? Otherwise, we have already lost. I knew I was trying to convince myself just as much as her. I kept repeating those words to myself to clear away the images that had been burned into my brain. Be calm, okay? Just be calm. As long as we work together, I'm sure we can find some way out of here. And help might even come before that. But what if there isn't a way out? What if help never comes? If that happens, then I'll get you out of here myself, no matter what it takes. When I said that, I paused. I had no idea what had come over me. Sayaka? Please, help me. Her voice was small, but shaky. Why? Why is this happening to me? To kill or be killed? I just can't take this anymore. Sayaka. <laughs> Finally, she raised her face up from my chest. She looked at me with those big, wet eyes of hers. Makoto. Can I... can I believe what you said? Huh? That you'll help me get out? No matter what it takes? Absolutely! Makoto. You're the only one I can trust, so no please... what happens, please always be there for me. I need you on my side. Huh? Of course I'll be there for you, no matter what. I'm always on your side. I mean, you are my assistant, after all. Makoto... Thank you, Makoto. Hearing you say that, I feel like I can keep going. I, I can get through this, as long as you're here with your me. Assistant. That smile I had come to know so well returned to her face. It felt a little forced, but still. It was a huge improvement over how she was before. Hey, hey. It's standing up. <laughs> Makoto, it's standing up. What's standing up? Do you even have to ask? Your flagpole! Get the hell out of here! No, no, I want to join in. Damn it, well, if you won't leave, then tell us what the hell is up with those videos. Ah, uh, it's about to come out. It's gonna come out, my pristine, pure white stuffing. My honest, innocent stuffing is about to come gushing out. I balled up my fist, take it, took aim, and swung as hard as I could. I'd never put so much energy into a single motion before in my life. I leaned back, channeling all my power, and let go with everything I had. Wah! Are you okay? If I hadn't avoided your punch, you would have just violated school regulations. But boy, are you slow, 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 slow! I could have downed a thousand dollar full course dinner in the time it took you to finish your swing. Your speed, agility, alertness, passion, boldness, sense of despair, antagonization, it's all lacking! What the heck was that just now? He just wanted to mess with us. Uh, um, well, for now. 
You want to just head back? Yeah. Monokuma, I come along and swiftly destroyed the good mood we just created. Sayaka and I had... Sayaka and I had... It, oh my god. Headed back to the dorms. You should get some rest, Sayaka. You still look pretty sorry. shaken. I'm sorry for making you worry about me. You're right. I'm going to lay down for a bit. With a nod and a small bow, she disappeared into her room. Now on my own, I headed off to tell everyone that Sayaka was okay. Once that was done, I decided to go back to my room. It was hard to think after watching the deranged video. I need some rest of my own. Jeez. Seriously, what's going on here? There's just so many problems. I can't even decide what the biggest problem is. That we're trapped in here? That what we saw in that video might be real? Monokuma? What the mastermind has in store for us? Or are we our biggest problem? I want to get out of here. But I could never kill someone. Do the others all feel the same? Yeah, that's definitely the biggest problem right now. <sighs> huh? Nani? When I opened my eyes, they darted immediately to the clock. It's almost 10 o'clock. I fell asleep without even realizing it. Nighttime's about to start. So how come someone's here? ba 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 Checking all the things, all the things and all the stuffs. Hold on, what did that say? Sort of quite fit in the frame. I'll have to make sure I remember the trick to opening. Who remembers the trick to opening the uh, door? Two things. No, I'm trying to get the other thing. Why are there two things on this? Does anybody else? I, I don't understand. Why are there... It highlights... Whatever. Whatever. Sorry. I'm really sorry to come by so late. Sayaka? Sayaka, what are you doing out so late? That's when I noticed. Her body was trembling. Is everything okay? I'm sorry to bother, but something really weird just happened. Something weird? Just a little while ago, I was laying down in my room, and all of a sudden my door started rattling and shaking. Her voice sounded like all the air had been squeezed out of her lungs. Just hearing her talk made me tense so up. Scared. It was like someone was trying to force the door open. My door was locked so they couldn't get in, of course. But they started shaking the door harder and harder. I was so scared I couldn't even move. So what happened? After a while, it just stopped. I let some time go by, then I got up and opened the door to check outside. But there was nobody there. Someone tried to force their way into your room? But who would do something like that? It's not like I'm suspicious of anyone here, but still, it makes me nervous. What if someone like, what if something like that happened in the middle of the night? What would I do then? You don't have to worry about that, right? I mean, we can't go outside during that time. But that's just a promise we made, right? If someone decided to break that promise, then why don't you stay in my room tonight? Would that make you feel a little better? Huh? All it said in the school regulations was that we had to sleep in the dorm rooms, right? Didn't say specifically which room each person had to sleep hey, in, so... Um... But two people sharing one room is, you know... Ah! Oh, jeez, I'm sorry. I didn't even think about that. Honestly, that didn't even cross my mind. Um... No, I know. Me either. It's not even that I mind the idea, but... Um, if you don't mind, could we maybe switch rooms just for tonight? Switch rooms? If it'll help put your mind at ease, then it's totally fine with me. But... I don't mind you staying in my room, but are you sure you're okay with me staying in yours? Does it doesn't, like, concern you? It's fine. I trust you. In that case, then. <laughs> this 
is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't miss the best box five. Oh man, it's already nighttime. Okay, so it's settled. I'll head to your room right now. Oh, if we're gonna trade rooms, we better trade keys too. Ah, oh, that's right, we'll have to trade keys. Again? I said I'm psychic. <sighs> huh? Hey, aren't you gonna say you were just kidding? <laughs> what if I wasn't just kidding? Something resembling a smile had made it sway to her face. Thank goodness. It looks like she's already starting to get back to normal. Okay, we better trade keys okay. then. Yep, let's do it. We exchanged keys, and when I look back up at her again, there's another worried expression there. <laughs> Makoto, please be careful. If someone comes to the door, don't open it, no matter what. I won't. Same goes for you, Sayaka. No matter who it is, don't open your door for anyone. Even if I'm sure it's you, I absolutely won't open it. Otherwise, what's the point of even switching? Oh, by the way, just so you know, my bathroom door tends to get stuck. There's a little trick to opening it. You have to turn the knob, then lift up on the door while you pull it out. Just do that and the door should open, no problem. Okay, but the showers don't work during nighttime anyway, right? Oh, that's right. I totally forgot. But I guess I might use it when I get up in the morning, so thank you. Okay, well, I better get going. See you tomorrow, Sayaka. Oh, and about what I said before. Hmm? When I said I was psychic, it really was a joke. Honestly, I'm just very perceptive. Yeah, I know. Good night then. See you in the morning. Sayaka gave me one last parting smile, and I headed off to uh, my room. I looked around as soon as I got out in the hall. Everyone else's door was closed. There's no sign of light. Good. There's nobody here. Making sure nobody was around to spot me, I rushed into Sayaka's room. They don't give me the opportunity to, like, lie or anything. So this is Sayaka's room. It really doesn't look any different from mine. It smells nice, though. Here's a good question. Do we investigate her room, or do we go to bed and not? What do you guys think? Should I investigate, or should we just go right to bed? You guys have as much of a say in my playthrough as I do. I'll take it into consideration, but I'll do what I want anyway. I just want to know what you guys think. And no spoilers. Granted, you could choose things that have good endings or bad endings. That's up to your opinions. Let's get some interaction, peoples. So it looks like we can look in her desk drawer, trash can that and was there something else no yeah because so i got one two three four five six six things to interact with do we interact or do we go to bed like good people Investigate? Nobody else has an opinion? Nobody? Not a one? Okay, investigate it is. It's kind of weird to dig through other people's trash, but I couldn't help taking a quick peek. That's... There wasn't any doubt about it. It was the DVD with her name on it that we found in the AV room. That reminds me, I never did get a chance to find out what was in her video, but it's probably best if I wait until she brings it up again. Good idea. On the monitors, gives you a surprise. Here's one, too. If I remember right, all the girls probably locked in them. I'm a little reluctant to go in, though. Surveillance camera. My room came with a toolkit, but Sayaka has a sewing kit. Just like the note said, next to it is a map of everyone's vital organs. I don't think Sayaka would like me snooping around too much. I should probably go to bed soon. So I lowered myself into Sayaka's bed. A pleasant fragrance enveloped me. Sayaka's scent. Maybe it'll bring me some sweet dreams. Sweet dreams are made of memes. Alright, feeling a little better than before I fell asleep.
Imagine you're all in a big spaceship in the middle of an intergalactic adventure. You've heard of Noah's Ark, right? Well, we're sort of like that. We've set sail and left Earth behind. Here, you don't have to worry about crazy neighbors, corrupt cops, drunk drivers, or pyromaniacs. You don't have to worry about the ozone layer or asthma-inducing air pollution. And of course, you don't have to stress about studying for finals or practicing for the big game. But, but even our divine world of freedom has a few rules. After all, freedom can only exist because of rules. If you're really dead set on returning to that tiny piece of dog poop you call Earth, please do your best to follow the rules. I hope I've made myself perfectly clear. So then, let's everyone do our best to follow these new guidelines and live happily ever after together! Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m., and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! Get ready to greet another beautiful day! I sat up, still half asleep, and rubbed my eyes. Slowly, I pulled myself out of bed. I remembered. I was in Sayaka's room. I just remembered. I promised to eat breakfast with everyone else. I better get going. Left Sayaka's room and made my way toward the dining hall. Few people had already gathered at the dining hall by the time I got there. <laughs> Hello, Makoto, and good morning. Can you believe it? I was the very first one here this morning. <laughs> good morning. Hey, Makoto. Morning. <laughs> I suppose I'm early. Figured everyone who had arrived on time could be considered model high schoolers. And the ones who showed up a little late. Yo. Yo. Sorry. Like, sorry, my makeup would just not cooperate this morning. Well. My apologies, ladies and gentlemen. My morning, uh, duty took a little longer than usual. Ah, crap. We're the types who are more relaxed since the time. Most high schools fall into this category. And finally, the ones who kept everyone waiting forever. Indeed. I suppose I'm late. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. My bad, my bad. My bad, guys. Slipped right through my alarm. What's your problem? Why is it so awful to be late? <gasps> I didn't oversleep, Jesse. No, nope, got lost. I blame the Bermuda Triangle. Don't care about time or other people in general. They're the kind to move at their own pace. But regardless, everyone had arrived. At least that's how it was supposed to go. Wait, aren't we still missing some people? Yeah, Sayaka and Byakuya. Byakuya aren't here yet. I don't know about Byakuya, but I would definitely put Sayaka in the model high schooler category, so for her to be so late. What? What's going on? Did something happen? Yo. Hey man, have you seen Sayaka? <laughs> Why would I have? I just came straight from my room to here. Um, Did she forget about our breakfast I promise? I got the sense that she always has her stuff together. Listening to everyone talk like that, a small dark speck of unease that rose inside of me. That speck started to grow quickly. Uh, I need to go. I have to check on her. The words have barely left my lips before I flew into the hall. Where I headed first was my room where I'd left Sayaka safe for a single night. Where she was supposed to be safe. But over the course of that one night, the room had been completely transformed. What the hell? Oh my Jesus. There's a keychain on the ground. It has my name on it, so this must be my room key. I gave it to Sayaka when we traded rooms. Uh, it's the display stand the sword is on. More importantly, where's Sayaka? Oh, that's funny. This is the replica sword I brought back for self-defense. The sheath for the replica sword. The sword itself has been removed. More importantly, where is Sayaka? There are slashes and gouges on the walls and the floor. More importantly, where is Sayaka? This is the replica sword I brought back for self defense. It's been taken out of its sheath. More importantly, where is Sayaka? Looks like the lint roller has way less sheets than it used to. More importantly, where is Sayaka? The bed's been damaged too. Toolkit is still inside the drawer and it's still sealed. More importantly, where's Sayaka? Now's not the time. Okay. We still got two, three. Okay. There are slashes and gadgets on the walls and the floor. More importantly, where's Sayaka? 
I better check the bathroom. Let's take a look inside. It took me a second to realize that I was screaming. But I saw dug its way through my eyes and buried itself in my brain. And then, and then, everything went black. Oh no! Sayaka's dead. When I opened my eyes, I found myself staring at a huge ceiling. It was a ceiling I remembered ceiling before. And when I sat up, I saw someone looking at me. Again, it was someone I'd seen before. Ah, you're awake, finally. Are you okay? Now's no time for sleeping. Get your ass up, huh? You were unconscious, dude. I had to carry you back here. It's no surprise, considering what happened. What happened? Gah! Hey, are you okay? So it wasn't a dream, what I saw? It was real? That's right, it really did happen. Sayaka is dead. A deep, dark despair worked its way through my body and then exploded out of me. I shot up and took off running. Hey, where do you think you're going? I have to see for myself. I have to see if Sayaka is... Sayaka is... You can check once, twice, a thousand times. Sayaka is completely and irrevocably dead. No, I have to see for myself. Listen to us, man. What do you think is going to happen if you go out there? Well, what good is it to do just sitting around here? I mean, why are we all hanging in the gym at a time like this? Our friend Sayaka, she's... She's dead. Dead. When I said that, it finally hit me. I realized she really was gone. None of us want to be here right now either. Then why? Shouldn't it be obvious? Monokuma, he told us all to come here. Well, hold on. Don't talk like that. We all protested it. I mean, we remember the terrible price I actually had to pay. But so... I'm the one who convinced them to come. Right now, we need to do whatever he says. We're his prisoners, right? It's not a good idea to defy him without reason. We, need to... we don't need to make any more sacrifices than we already have. Why should we listen to anything he has to say? It's obviously he's the one who's killed Sayaka. Wrong. I would never do that. If you can believe anything, you can believe that. <laughs> he's here again. Hey, um... Unless someone violates the school regulations, I absolutely will not interfere. I can promise you, I won't do anything that goes against the purpose of our of your school life here. I'm famous at Safari Parks throughout the world for be following the Bear Times 1 rule. But... Then who did it? Who killed her? Uh -huh. You already know the answer. The one who killed her is one of you. Nobody had to reply for that. One of us killed Sayaka? Don't be stupid, that's... What? What's the matter? You guys all look like you're about to see a dove get shot up with a Gatling gun. <laughs> Don't you remember what I told you when this all began? Yay! One of you decided to kill Sayaka so that you could graduate. Someone's just following the rules. There's nothing wrong with that. Well... You're lying, right? Of course he's lying. I'm telling you, he killed her. Wrong. Nope, sorry. One of you is now a bona fide killer. If they wanted to, the one who did it could testify to that little fact. What? Without thinking, I looked around at everyone. They all had the same look on their faces. Everyone looked at each other with a combination of fear, suspicion, and confusion. Uh, uh, Are you serious? Yes, someone, yes, someone killed someone. It is amazing what some people are capable of. Hold hey, hold on. Don't just assume he's telling the truth. Stop That's enough. If I would do anything else, I'd like to find something with that stuffed animal here. Hmm. If one of us really did kill her, that person gets to graduate from the school, right? Nice. Welcome back. Huh? Come on. Don't play dumb. That's what you said, isn't it? If you kill someone, you get to leave. <laughs> <laughs> po ho ho ho. What? Why are you laughing? <laughs> it's cause... Naive. You're just so naive. You really think it's that easy? You can just kill someone and what's on out of here? Hey. You're super naive. Devilishly naive. Hellishly naive! No, 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 no. The real thing has just begun. The real thing? Now then. Are you ready? Allow me to explain the second part of the rule regarding graduation. Just like I explained before, you must kill someone if you want to leave. However, even if you do that, there's still one more part of the agreement you have to uphold, remember? Then perhaps... You're referring to rule number six of the school regulations. Anyone who kills a black student becomes blackened will graduate, unless... Huh. If you are the black and that committed the murder, you can't be found out by the other students. That is what you're referring to, aren't you? In other words... Bingo! It's not enough to just kill someone, you have to actually get away with it. Which naturally means you need a system in place to assess whether or not it's been gotten away with. 
So a certain amount of time after a murder is taking place, a class trial will begin. Class trial? Yep, it'll begin in a few it'll begin a few hours after the murder. Everyone will gather together, including the blackened who committed the murder. And they and the spotless students will all engage in one big debate showdown. During the trial, you'll have to present your arguments about who you think the blackened is. <sighs> And once everything comes to an end, the outcome will be decided by popular vote. If the answer you've arrived at is correct, only the one that disturbed your peace will be punished. The rest may continue their communal life. However, if you choose poorly, then the one who got away with murder will survive. And the rest of you will receive your punishment. Which, of course, means your school life will come to an end. As far as class trial rules go, that's all there is to it. Wait, so you can't get it wrong. So, um, what exactly is this punishment you keep talking about? Hmm. Oh, well, to put it simply, it's execution. <laughs> what? And by execution, you mean... Execution is... Execution! Execution! Electric chair! <laughs> Poison gas! <laughs> Torn apart like a paper plane in a hurricane! So to make sure I understand... If we get the culprit right, then only they die. But if we get it wrong, all the rest of us get executed? What a smart little chimpanzee you are. Look at you, implying you didn't do it without actually saying it. So it's basically what the outside world calls a lay judge system, or an inquisition type thing. Which means you'll be deciding who you think the killer is. But judge carefully, because all of your lives are on the line. Okay, let me just add the rule I just described to your handbook. Make sure to keep it in mind. Like, oh, wait, hold on a second. You're freaking insane. You know that? Huh? A class trial? Like, what the hell is that? I don't, like, want anything to do with it. Yes. Why not? Stop it. What do you mean, why not? Like, why do I have to waste my time trying to figure out who murdered someone? I just want another double chai mocha frappe latte tea. What? Are you saying you're not going to participate in the trial? Only punishment awaits such blasphemy. What? what? Punishment? Hmm. I mean, I might. I don't know. Throw you in a deep, dark, scary prison or something. <laughs> Shut the hell up. Say whatever you want. Like, I'm not gonna be a part of this. Don't, don't be so selfish. Like, you're the one being selfish. Like, kill whoever you want. It's got, like, nothing to do with me. The evil standing right before me. I'm trembling with fear. But I won't give in to such evil. It's my style. Stick it out and resist till the very end. If you really want to get out of here, you'll have to get three me first. As he said, that he came charging at us, although it was more of a waddle. But then... Oh. Enjoying yourself now. Are you I love that tasteful, uh... Violence against Headmaster Monokuma is not Look at that tasteful, uh, panty shot, though. Regulation. I invoke the mighty summon spell! Help! To me, godly spear, Gungnir! Gungnir. Oof. That's a oof, Captain. That's a oof. This wasn't supposed to. Why me? Suddenly, right at the end, her eyes shot wide open. And just like that, she never moved again. No way! What the? I don't. This can't be real. Uh, what the fuck is with this hair? Now, I am painfully aware of the great power and meaning of a promise. I really wanted to keep a corpse from popping up for no good reason, you know. But I guess y'all needed to be taught a lesson after all. Oh, uh, what an amazing promise. But now you guys understand, right? Now you see just how serious I am. Defy me and you get shot full of holes, exploded, buried alive, disintegrated, etc. So, if you don't want that to happen to you, you just obey those school regulations. 
Junko's body had been impaled with a bunch of spears. An unbelievable amount of blood started pouring out of her body. It was the first time I had ever seen the moment someone's life came to an end. Nobody there could deny what they'd seen. Junko, who had until just a second ago been our friend, was dead. She died. She'd been murdered! In simple terms, it was the death of a human being.